Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am and once again I'm coming at you with another exciting video. And the hits just keep rolling on with the PlayStation Vita folks. We got an update to a very highly anticipated release that is going to be launching very, very soon. Oh boy, I can feel it, I can feel it, the tingling in my fingers, this game is almost here. Now for those who probably think I'm going crazy and don't know what the heck I'm talking about, I had made a video about a certain Sega Genesis title that was unreleased back in the eh, mid 90s or so. And I'm sure after saying that you're probably thinking to yourself now, uh, okay, Sega Genesis, PlayStation Vita, uh, hello James, these two aren't the same thing, why are you bringing this up on a PlayStation Vita news video? Well, it was thought to be lost forever when lo and behold, somebody actually found a development unit that still had the remaining game on it, and believe it or not guys, it gets it's even more, more bizarre. The game was just about nearly completed. I think it was like 90% plus finished. So they were able to salvage it and now it is going to be coming to the PlayStation Vita very soon. Ah, the plot thickens, does it not? That's exactly what it had to do with the PlayStation Vita. It had everything to do with it. Y'all ready to go to war? I'm ready to go to war. Even though I haven't played this game yet and I have no idea if it even has anything to do with going to war and I might have just made a reference there for nothing. But ignoring that fact for the time being, here's everything you need to know about this upcoming game for our little handheld. Strictly limited games. Oh boy, I just love it when that company is involved. I smell a... well... You know where this is going. Today announced that the Metroidvania action platformer Ultra Hardcore, formerly titled as Project Hardcore, I think they changed the name for like copyright reasons or something like that, is still going to be arriving on the PlayStation Vita. And the reason I'm phrasing it like that is because some people in the Vita community were a little bit afraid that this game might in fact be cancelled, but nope, it's still coming. And PlayStation 4 for those who are interested. Now here's everything regarding its history guys, it gets very very intense here, and pretty exciting too. During in the early 1990s, the Swedish video game developer Digital Illusions, also known as DICE, and no not that DICE, that DICE, started working on their new game, developed for Commodore Amiga, Sega Mega Drive, slash Genesis, and the Sega Mega CD. The game was about 99% finished, I knew it was in that ballpark, and previews of an engaging and gorgeous looking side-scrolling action game with the name Hardcore were wandering through the media. Wait, what, not the internet? Oh yeah, I forgot this was the 90s. All the signs were pointing to another hit, but then all of a sudden, Hardcore was put on hold due to a draft towards the new generation of gaming consoles. Pretty much everybody was more into 3D at that time more than 2D. Most notably, the most powerful Sony PlayStation with its incredible 3D graphics. Which I still find very ironic, considering that the PlayStation 1 was one of the reasons why this game eventually got canned, yet now it's actually appearing on a Sony platform. Heh, <laughs> go fig. Except for a few people, no one has ever played this gem. But in 2019, after nearly 25 years of deep sleep, Hardcore will finally be published with the new name UltraCore. UltraCore is a Euro-style Metroidvania platformer appealing specifically to a 2D action game enthusiast, such as myself and I'm sure many of you out there, with intricate level design and numerous mid and end bosses. Oh, I love me some good boss battles. What is UltraCore though, you might still be wondering. It's a lost treasure, Euro-style Metroidvania Vania packed with quality art and attention to detail. Originally developed by DICE in the mid-1990s for the Sega Mega Drive and Mega CD and Commodore Amiga. Yeah, I'm not sure why the article actually said all that stuff. It was pretty much just re-emphasizing everything that we already kind of knew about it, but um, okay, I'll go with it. Hey, at least now I can say that I officially read you the entire description, right? Yeah, I don't know if that really saved that segment. Now you guys probably no doubt had noticed that Strictly Limited Games was mentioned somewhere in the article. And I know whenever I hear their names, my ears perk up. In fact, they're perk right now. And so they did. Now you're thinking to yourself, okay, Strictly Limited Games? I'm sensing a physical release. Ah, uh, you guys spoiled the surprise, but you are in fact correct. Here's the part of the segment where it gets really good. Well, gooder, if that was a word. Strictly Limited Games today announced that the Metroidvania action platformer, now called UltraCore, will arrive on the PlayStation Vita in late May 2019. But, guys, but, 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 UltraCore will also be available digitally via the PlayStation Store, along with its physical release, an exclusive special edition with pre-orders starting in late April 2019 via 
strictly limited games. So we almost are there guys, we're getting so much closer to this game's finally inevitable release. Now unfortunately at the time I'm making this video, this article doesn't say exactly when in April it's going to be, so I'm more than likely going to have to do an update segment for you guys to let you know when that exact date comes. Hopefully it'll be very soon, maybe at the beginning of April? We'll have to wait and find out. And until then, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this game, guys. Were you a Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive fan back in the day? Is this just making your little nostalgic feelings burst with anticipation? Because I know I am definitely feeling the, uh, um, uh, feels. Yeah, that was kind of awkward. But let me know what you think about this title. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. The following video has been brought to you in part by Adam Theory, Saul Ramirez, Heston Joseph, and all these wonderfully generous people over at Patreon. I have a number of exclusive perks available for backers, so if you're interested in supporting the channel, check all of that description stuff uh, down below. Now if you guys will excuse me, I'm gonna find out if there really is a war going on here with Ultra Core. I mean, it, he has a gun, so there must be some kind of war going on, right? I mean, right?